made it really pretty. I'm so stupid, I forgot my SD card, so I can't even film with my camera. <laughs> I'm back home from dinner and I just washed my face, removed my makeup, and now I'm gonna do my skincare. I'll be using products from Rovectin and I also wanted to thank them for sponsoring this video. I've actually worked with Rovectin in the past and generally speaking, I love their skincare products. I'm gonna be introducing you guys to their Sika Care line, which is specifically made to soothe sensitive skin. All the products contain a calamine ingredient which calms breakouts. So first step is toner and I'm gonna be using the Sika Care toner. The Sika toner is hypoallergenic and also vegan friendly. Next, I have the Sika Care Blemish Clearing Balm, and this is a new product from the Sika Care line. This cream soothes irritated skin and controls excessive sebum. It's also great for sensitive and acne prone skin. This cream just feels so good on my skin. It feels very moisturized and soothed after. This cream is best used with this balm. Now, for one of my favorite products, it's the Sika Care Balm. So, this balm soothes and revitalizes sensitive and irritated skin. This also reduces the appearance of spots and scars. I'm gonna place this around my mouth because I have some dark spots here. There's also a Sika mask, which is a great finishing touch to your skincare routine. It's so cold. So definitely check out Rovectin and their Sika care line. I will have all the products that I mentioned linked in my description box down below. There will also be a site-wide sale of 25% off on October 27th to the 31st. And you guys can also use my code RVT15 for an additional 15% off. Hi guys and welcome back to another what I eat in a week video. I'm starting the video off on a Saturday so I don't have school today. For my first meal, I'm having this omelette, and then I have homemade kimchi on the side. This is oi kimchi, and this is just pechu kimchi.
My chopsticks are miffy. sponges off of guest style. I'm gonna wash the dishes so I wanna use them right now. I accidentally fell asleep like three hours ago but i needed this rotting day i feel like i've been going out a lot recently right now it's 7 45 p.m my mom's gonna be making pho for dinner which i'm so excited about because i love pho but she's never tried making homemade pho before <laughs> I love these rice rolls. I always order these at the pho restaurant I go to. Mm. For dinner, I'm having homemade pho and shrimp rice rolls. My mom tried to make it just like the pho restaurant we go to. This looks so good. Also, look at how cute my spoon and chopsticks are. Mm. It actually tastes similar to like store bought pho. It has a hoodie that's so funny. <laughs> It turned out nice. For my breakfast today, I made this sandwich. I saw this a lot on YouTube and Instagram. It's a Hayori Bannerpang, but the shape is really pretty and it was actually really easy to make. I also made this salad, and you guys know I love my balsamic sauce with salad. Mm. 
Oh my god, the yolk is gonna pop. Mm. Oh my god, the yolk. This is actually really good. And this is coming from someone who doesn't really like bread. I don't really like pastries or bread. For dinner today, I'm having kongnamur bulgogi and kenanmari in heart shapes that my mom made. It's so cute. I also have all these side dishes. This is odeng and these are three different types of kimchi. For my drink, I'm having ipuro. I'm so excited to eat. I'm starving. I'm having udong and look how cute this Hello Kitty bowl is. The other side is also so cute. And then I have yubu kimbap rolls. Today was a very long day. I had a lot of errands to run, but I'm back home and I'm gonna have some dinner.
For dinner, I'm having ganjang jjakjorim and gochijeon. This is my first time trying this. I bought it when I was grocery shopping. Anyways, I just finished having dinner, but I'm so stressed because I have three things due tomorrow. And I didn't start any of them, so <laughs> it's 10, 12 p.m. right now. I have a project due tomorrow for my Korean film class. We have to make a four to five minute video. That's partner work, so me and my friend are just gonna grind it out all tonight. And then I have like this discussion post due for one of my classes. So yeah, I have so much work to do now. I mean, it's literally 2 16 p.m. So I don't know why I said good morning But I woke up like 30 minutes ago and finally got myself to get out of bed I mean, I'm still in my bed, but yeah, I'm lying back in bed right now I slept past 6 a.m. Yesterday because I was working on a bunch of school stuff But I'm gonna go eat something right now before I start any work I just made myself a very simple yogurt bowl for my first meal because I had a pretty heavy dinner yesterday so I just wanted something light and also an excuse to use this cute Miffy bowl These strawberries are so good I just finished the project that's now due in two hours. Oh my god, I was so anxious and stressed as I was doing it because I thought that I wouldn't be able to finish it on time because it was taking a lot longer than I expected and it's due at 11.59 p.m. today. But I'm done. I'm so happy. My hand is cramping so much because it was a video project so I had to edit. And I was sitting at my desk for like four hours straight <laughs> just editing. The project was for my Korean film class and look at this editing timeline. My head is like shaking. It says 2 hours 48 minutes remaining. I still haven't added my submission because I'm waiting for it to export onto YouTube right now. I submitted it. It's 9.20 p.m. right now. All I ate today was that yogurt bowl and these matcha snacks. The setting is so pretty, but I'm having topoki for dinner. I'm not gonna have this all by myself. I'm eating this with my family. It's 10.28 p.m. right now, which is really late for dinner, but it's because I was working on the project today. For my drink, I'm having chongkodo.
It's been about two hours since I got home, but right after I got home, I had a group meeting for my marketing project. After the group call, I took a shower, and now it's 9-11 p.m. I'm gonna dry my hair a bit before I have some dinner. Wow, my dark circles actually look so bad. I've been putting eye cream on like every night, but I don't think it does anything. I'm having pee bop and my mom made it really pretty like this and also instant miso soup I need to stop falling asleep every time I come back home from school. I just woke up and it's 7.49 p.m. I slept for like three hours. I was probably really tired today because I had to wake up early. I'm gonna have some dinner now because I didn't eat anything today other than Chipotle.
For dinner, my mom made me this tortilla flour pizza and salad. It looks so cute. I also have this strawberry, banana, and blueberry smoothie. Today is a Friday and I don't have classes, but I had a few things to take care of right now for school. I'm done those and now it's 2.50 p.m. So I'm gonna go eat something. You guys already know that I don't really eat breakfast and have my first meals really late. I'm gonna take a little bite. I haven't had product in so long. Mmm. I'm having this Prudak omelette and this is currently trending on social media I saw this in my Instagram reels I'm excited to try because I'm wondering what it's going to taste like And then I have chumokbap with crab meat and egg filling It's so cute It tastes interesting I thought I would taste the Prudhoff flavor a lot, but you can't really taste it. I had to put makeup on for something, so that's why I look different from the past clips. But it's time for dinner. For dinner today, I'm having prunak dongwar and I've actually showed this a lot in my past variety of videos. It's just that good. For side dishes, I have kimchi, hobak, potato, and cucumber kimchi. I also have oi nengkuk here. Mm. Thank you. 